Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is another verse from the Quranic Reflection series, and it is from Surah Al Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran. And it also happens to be the first verse of the Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah the Lord of all the worlds. The first point of reflection is what could be called the attitude of gratitude. Because all praise, all thanks is due to Allah. This is addressing the issue of gratitude. And this is repeated 17 times every day. And Allah chose Alhamdulillah, the first phrase, all gratitude is due to Allah for a reason. And that reason is because we are in great need of being thankful. Gratitude should be our attitude. The second point of reflection is the benefit which comes out of having this attitude of gratitude. We know all around us people are caught up in various stages and states of depression. Suicide is at an all-time high. When we look into these issues of depression and suicide, most of the times you will see that they are a result of people being unable to find good in their lives, to be thankful for. So you will hear them saying, Nothing's going right. There's no benefit coming from this life. This life is a life of, of problems and, and they can't see any good. And because of that, they're not able to give thanks for any good. When in fact, there is much good in their life. And because of their inability, then they end up in states of depression and suicide is at its highest. Point of reflection number three from Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen is that we need to revive the sunnah of sujood al-shukr. Sujood al-Shukr was a sunnah mu'akkada of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A sunnah which he did all the time, regularly. This sujood means prostration. Al-Shukr means thankfulness. The prostration for thankfulness is something that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do Regularly, whenever any good came or any bad was averted, the Prophet ﷺ would fall down into prostration and thank Allah for his mercy and his blessings. And this should be a part of our lives. Many people never even heard of it. And others who have heard about it, don't do it. We only see it when we watch football and soccer and uh, some Muslim players, when they score a goal, they fall down and prostrate. And we say, oh, mashallah, mashallah. But we don't apply it in our own lives. And this is very important. That sujood al-shukr doesn't require you to have wudu. 
You don't have to actually face the Qibla in case you don't know where is the Qibla at the time, whatever. You just make that prostration to develop a positive attitude, to overcome negativity which builds up in all of our lives. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La ilaha